How am I doing? Can you see me? Do you recognise me? Am I convincing? As you, I mean. Because when you do us, I have to say, you're pretty hopeless. For example, zzzz, that's not actually the sound we make. And you often make us black and white and striped. There's no such thing as a black and white and striped bee. And you never get our hair right. But never mind. You try. I'm trying. So, am I a convincing human? The look of me, I mean. We'll get to the humanity of me later. I've studied you. Like any good actor preparing a role. Your movements, your speech. Do I sound like you? More or less? Anyway, you don't all sound the same. Just as we don't. As long as I'm sounding more or less human, I'm happy. Am I? I mean sounding more or less human. I'm not asking if I'm happy. That seems very complicated as a human. But now I need some help. What you call acting notes on being human so that I can convincingly be you. There are still some things I don't understand. I, I know that as well as looking more or less alike, you're all different. The way we're all different. Although, from the way you'll portray us, I don't think you know much about us. Let me explain. There are bees who live in hives, a bit like your apartment blocks and produce honey, uh, a bit like um, factory or office workers. And there are solitary bees who are a bit more individualistic and live in gardens and hedges and nest underground. But basically all of us, honey, bumble, mason, mining, carpenter, hairy-footed, morning, sweat, squash, blueberry, leaf cutter or longhorn, pollinate everything. Which means as we go about our business, the planet keeps going and is healthy. I could tell you a lot more, but that's not my purpose since I am you. Hmm. The thing is, I can't figure out exactly what you do. That is, how you keep the planet going, which is what every living thing does. For example, as a bee, I look for flowers. So I fly with a purpose. I search, I hover, I spot a flower, I land on it. And then I have a kind of dialogue. It might have been sprayed with a chemical. So it tells me immediately not to stay there. It could hurt me. I quickly go to another flower. On that one, there could have been a bee just before me. So it tells me, <clears throat> Sorry, mate, you're too late. And eventually, I find a flower and it's a good one. So I stay there and collect whatever it has to give me. And as I do that, I spread a little pollen around. So it's happy because that will make more flowers. The exact way living things reproduce is complex. So I won't go into it. Whereas... I've noticed you humans do sex pretty simply. No. No, I'm not going to act human sex right now. Maybe another time. 
So, here I am. A human. Yes? Now, I move. You seem to have a lot of different ways of moving. Sometimes with your short legs, and sometimes with your long legs, and sometimes without legs, in rolling boxes. I'm going to try legs. So, <clears throat> I move. But I seem to have no direction. There's a good flower right in front of me. Uh, but I, I don't see it. Instead, I, I go for that one over there. And it tells me it's full of chemicals and dangerous. But I absolutely insist on feeding from it because it's more showy. Why don't I, a human, know what's good for me? And then sometimes I see a bee. I mean a human. And I try to push it off. Ah. That's how you do threat, yes? But why? And sometimes I sort of whiz about here and there for no reason. I think you call it exercise? Jogging. You go in a straight line and miss all the flowers. And sometimes you pile into one of your moving boxes with your short legs at right angles, uh, like this, I think. Have I got it right? What are you looking for from those boxes? Uh, I think you call it motivation. Oh. I'm really trying to get into my human character, but there seems to be a lack of consistency. Or is there something I'm not getting? Uh, here I am doing actions, but I can't find their intention. And now, something else. When you see me, as a bee, that is, when I'm not moving, I'm still. I watch. I'm alert. But you're often not moving, but not still. Twitching. Like this. Maybe it's grooming? We do grooming too. We clean our legs and antennae a lot. But I don't notice you're much better afterwards. And you haven't spread anything good around you. So I can't see the purpose. Maybe it's evolutionary. Scaring off predators. You seem to be very frightened of something you call boredom. Maybe boredom is one of your worst predators. Yes, that's it. I twitch to scare off my predator. Does it work? But back to purpose, how you find it, how you make yourself yourself. Why is it so hard to find? Acting is hard. Acting human is really, really hard. If I were a bee, 
advising another bee on their purpose or objective. I think you also call it a journey. I'd say, look for the flowers. They'll tell you everything. Look for the flowers. What's that in human language? Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. You can use the movement you call walking or the one called being still. With both, you find plants. Good things that nourish you. Uh, maybe you call them thoughts truths, kindness, good things that nourish you. And when you found something good in that flower, you spread it around. And finally, you tell other people about it so they can make a beeline for it. If I did that, I'd be a happy human. I imagine it's even more of a challenge to play a happy human than a normal human, but I'm going to try. I'll practice a bit on my own first. It's been very tiring, just being human. So I'm going to take a break now and be a bee for a while. But thanks for watching. And if you ever want advice on how to act like a bee, give me a ring.